What's up everyone and welcome back to the channel. Right here I have my custom Chief Bowden minifigure and today we are going to show you all the updates to the WCFD. Now to start off this video I'm going to start by showing you the two smallest additions to the fire department and that would be this custom ATV and this 2016 Polaris uh, 6x6. The Polaris is a EMS unit uh, mainly used for off-road and you have space for a backboard on the side there along with placement for a minifigure on that seat right there so it can transport a patient which is very important the roll cage is a custom built uh, part it is not the pre-made prefabricated part that they always use for the covered ATVs and of course there is space for a driver inside moving on to the other vehicle I have the custom 4x4 ATV and the design is taken from a Lego City Jungle set that had been released not too long ago it was I believe the helicopter set with the small helicopter it carried an ATV similar to this and this takes a lot of design points from it, especially with the headlights at the front and this piece back here that's serving as a compartment or just a, a little area where you can store some things. And right there I have flippers and a uh, flotation device because this is actually serving as a beach unit. So that's why the firefighter has a life vest on. The next change to the fire department is this is the addition of this new battalion car. This is Battalion 2. It runs out of Station 2 with Truck 2, Squad 4, and Engine 6. And it is a 2015 Ford Taurus. Uh, detailing, I did put some lights underneath there. And I just candy cane them. I did add an antenna up there. And I did add a push bar at the front. Uh, the push bar, it was a new design for me because I don't normally do four wide vehicles. And I normally don't do push bars that small. I've always done them quite large six, for six wide vehicles. But that was the first time that I did it for a four, a four wide vehicle. And I'm actually going to mass produce these. So I'm going to make a few as taxis. And I'm going to make a few civilian cars. Now, I've already made uh, two new civilian cars that are uh, from this design, and they're black and white. I also made another white one, so there's three new ones, and I'm going to build two more taxi units. Now, of course, this vehicle is going to look familiar because you just saw it in a uh, few videos ago in my most recent city update, and this was... Truck 1, which is a 2016 Pierce Aero XT. And, of course, I have the new wheels on. That was in the last video. But what you didn't see is was the addition of the LED light above the wheel there and the handlebars. Now, that, that is on all of my new trucks, and you will see that soon. Of course, naturally, the next vehicle that I would show is Truck 2. And what you didn't see in the last video was the wheels getting added onto this. And there are a few more changes that I made on this. Now, at the front where the cab is, I did not add one of the LED lights because I could not find another one by one uh, brick with a stud on the side. And I couldn't find two more of those. And then I did add the, the handlebars, of course. And then at the back, I pushed this out by think a plates width and then I made this cabinet bigger so instead of being a three by one it is now a four by one set up right there and I also did change out the windshield at the back of this and I also made this five studs long so that's actually using a piece that was used as a fish tank in the pet shop and townhouse set and I did redo the rear view mirrors on it and I did redo the lights as well. I also added this strip of amber lights, if you can see that. So I changed a few things on that. 
including getting the new design for the turntable of this ladder. Right here I have my next vehicle. This is the third 2016 Pierce Arrow XT and this is engine three. Now, of course you did see the changes that were made to this in the last video with the new wheels. Of course I do have the handlebars and the LED light. But at the front, I changed out the bumper, added this blitz fire, as I believe it's called. And at the back, I changed that up a lot. I kept the design uh, with the cabinetry, having them be roll-up doors. And I kept the hoses on the side here, and of course the deck gun. But what you didn't see was what I did yesterday, is this whole design for the hose bed right here in the back. Now this more closely resembles like what you would see on a 2017 Enforcer, but since uh, it is a Pierce uh, body right here, you know, I just went for it. And I believe the bodies are interchangeable, so you might see uh, a Velocity pumper having the same body as like, say, an Enforcer, but I don't know. But what I did was I covered it up and I made the hose bed lower, and I also put in these two 1x4s right here. And I didn't really change up the lights here, but I did change the lights up back here. So I added two more LEDs along with, I actually moved these two LEDs down here. And that's all I did on that. Well, actually, I pushed this in by one stud, and I put these two pieces right here. So those were the changes that I made on this one. The next vehicle I have here is engine six. Now the last time you saw this, it was a, let me, I'm trying to remember, it was a 2013 Seagrave Marauder. Now, now it is currently a 2015 Pierce Enforcer. Now I wasn't gonna do a Pierce Enforcer because it looks so similar to the 2016 Pierce Arrow. But the thing is, I found a few, uh, I think, iterations of the vehicle where you had uh, this raised roof start about right here. So I uh, had it start here rather than one stud back. And the mirrors, I saw a design for those. I might change them, but it just get, gave a bit of difference from the Pierce Arrow. And for this one, I put in regular cabinets and I did the same design that I did on the original Engine 3. So that's what I did on that. I can't find another one of these black hoses to go here, but you know, not a big deal. And also one of the differences from this to the Pierce Arrow is in the step ups where I just have this pushed out by half a stud. It's just small details that make it a bit different from the Pierce Arrow. Okay, so right here we have Squad 4. This is the, I'm not exactly sure on the year, but I'm gonna go for, what the heck, 2015 uh, Spartan Gladiator. And of course the other details that I added on all the other trucks are still there. And I added some more lights. So I changed up the, changed up the lights here. I'm probably gonna add some scene lights right here and here. And at the back, I added some more lights. So I added amber lights, including one more of these LEDs on each side. And I put the lights in these two spotlights right here. And at the front, I actually changed up the grill along with the headlights. It's a different uh, connection here with the headlights. A little bit different. If you go back and watch the older video, you would see the differences. But right here, I added a piece right in between the two grill pieces just to make it look more like a Spartan. Someone had actually asked me to do that yesterday on Instagram when I actually originally posted it. Crap. Okay. But I did change out the light here at the top, the floodlight that folds up. It's actually higher now, and it's jointed in two different places, so right here at the base and right up here. 
and the spot where it kind of like lies down in is better fitted to it so you don't have space here that's unused so it kind of forms a cross or a T looking shape when you look at look at it from the top so as I said I'm gonna add seam lights here and also what I did as I've already done on all the other trucks is add an LED right here above the wheel at the back now I forgot to point this out in the other trucks but it's in all of the other trucks and finally we move on to squad 5 which is the 2010 velocity Pierce velocity this one is up has refurbs to 2017 with the lights down here and the addition of more LEDs back here including an amber light I was gonna push this door in by like a stud but I decided to keep it as half a stud in I just thought that looked better and I raised the back part of it up by plate and at the front I changed out the headlights so they're now two circular pieces instead of one long one by one one by two piece right there and I added these on the side and that's all I did to it and of course I have three seam lights I originally I originally had a window right here but I decided I decided to change that out just because it didn't accurately match the picture of the truck that I was basing this off of now someone had asked me to uh, make this a dual axle to support the weight of the third cabinet but the picture of the truck that I based this off of actually did have the three cabinets but only had that one wheel in there so I decided to keep it as so so I'm pretty happy with it I'm not gonna change this one I also redid the roof so it's not all gray it's got a gray lining but with a red interior so I'm pretty happy with this and this is the last change that I've made to the fire department and there will be some additions in the future, so stay tuned for those. Okay guys, that's it for this time, but stay tuned because I am working on a ton of new mocks. The next mock that I'm actually working on is for the fire department itself, and it's going to be a hazmat unit. It's going to have a 2010 um, International Workstar for the cab with, I'm not sure about the body yet, but I am basing it off of a real picture that I found. And I'm not sure when that's going to be done. It'll probably be done probably by the middle of this week. So like Tuesday or Wednesday. But look out for that because I will be posting it on Instagram. But that's it for this time. See you later, guys.